let's take a look at Aria in animation and whether it's a clean anime or not. So stay tuned. My name is Zeke Matthew, and I want to tell you what I mean by clean. When I say clean anime, I want to make sure it's safe for everyone to watch. It doesn't have any appropriate stuff. Or is this anime so inappropriate that I would dismiss it? That's what I want to find out in this anime. What if an anime took you to a time more simple than today and you could feel the beautiful atmosphere that takes you on a ride into a world? Well, this is exactly what happens in Aria in Animation and it's a subgenre of what's called healing anime, which means it has a much slower pace taking you on a journey. It is created by Jose Amano, based on the manga from the same name, and is produced by HAL Filmmaker and published through Nozomi Entertainment, and took a lot of inspiration from Vince Italy. Akari is a 15-year-old girl who flies to Mars to a place called Aqua in a section called Neo Venice and becomes an undine of the Aria Company as she meets friends along the way. The animation may put off people a little bit because this type of style is reminiscent of old anime style before the moi became a trend. And it's good animation mixed with a little CGI here and there, but maybe not on par with newer titles. It has a sense of discovery to it where you want to explore the world. It's meant to be watched during the day and not at night. If you watch this animation during the day, it helps enhance that experience. And I've tried it both ways and the day seems to enhance the experience more than at night. Akari is friendly with a lot of people and will say her famous A if she says something sappy in the moment. And she has a unique technique of rowing gondolas backwards. Akari is a little more energetic in her approach and is an undine of the Himea company and tries to do her best while having a strict teacher during her training as well as her famous line no sappy lines allowed if akiri says something sappy at the moment Alice's son is a little more soft-spoken and is an undine of the orange company as she is timid around new people but soon grows a liking to akiri and akiri Alyssa is a primera which is the next position after Undine and has a caring heart for Akari, her Undine, and will say my my a lot. And everyone around her wants to become her because of her talent with gondolas and guests in the water. Arya is the president of the Arya company and he is a Neko or cat, but his eyes take some getting used to because they look like big white holes. The music is very calming and relaxing music that makes you soak into the world around you. Plus, it does something unusual with its opening rather than opening like normal. The opening is integrated into the story so that the flow does not stop as the story is being told. As for the closing, it has a much calmer music to it and it's animated like a paintbrush. It's kind of interesting style they chose here. The sound effects? There are some sound effects here and there, but the ambience of the sound of the gondos on the water is just beautiful. The fan service in this anime, there is a mention of a panty shot and a bathing scene, which nothing is shown, but it is there, as well as bathing suits in this anime, but no cleavage is shown, even on the two-piece parts. Plus, there is a Hot Springs episode where everyone is covered in towels. The negatives in this anime, there seems to be a religion surrounding the cats on the island where each company has their own version of a cat or neko and having a bridge between the past and the present. In conclusion, this is one of the cleanest anime I have ever seen that gives you something to relax with and having a sense of discovery. So if you're in the mood for something slower and want to discover the world around you, give Aria in animation a try. And never forget, animated Christians is just for you.